as I listen to the so-called breaking news of the hung jury office reporter in the police murder of Freddie Gray, the news reporter made it a point of stating that the police officer was black and the murder victim was black. My job and the job of other black liberation intelligence agents is to prevent the masses from being distracted by the propaganda machine of the white supremacist. You must always remember that white supremacy is an ideology. All ideologies can be adopted, not only by the tribe in which the ideology was born, but also by those that are under the authority of that tribe. The United Snakes of America is currently the highest seat of power for white supremacy in the world. And every person that lives in America is to some degree under the authority of white supremacy. All military personnel and policing agents in this country are responsible for protecting and serving its interests. So if a black person that wears a police uniform kills unarmed black people, that officer is simply doing the job he or she was commissioned to do by the institution. Only those that believe in this system are surprised at the mistrial of Officer Porter. Those of us that are well aware that black people are the top enemy of the state aren't surprised at any injustice that occurs against our people. Remember that, based on history, it has to be assumed that the number one priority of black, brown, red, yellow, and white people who have pledged allegiance to this system, is to serve the interest of white supremacy. If an enemy of the state is killed by an agent of the state while performing his or her duty, the state will do all it can to protect its soldier from retribution. This article was written by Daku. Akabo wa Akatu.